Right, in this video I am attempting to add pressure to this uh, Stuart Turner's pump and this reservoir in there, which is the same as that really. Uh, reservoir of gas in there. And we need that at 0 0.8 roughly. So, this is just even masking tape. This is the nipple end of a, a couple of condoms and here is the rib end and it just fits over nicely there and it catches on uh, so I've blown air into here already um, and I've kind of then with the with a with a with a condom filled up with air screwed it on so now I'm going to add in have someone on the other one helping you out to switch on the hot water to, uh, tap or the cold water so I add the gas in that you can actually manipulate this it's leaking out so I'm going to turn it on a bit tighter you can actually manipulate through the pressurised condom you're looking for it to stay there and not move it keeps it moving Anyway, as you can see with the, the added condom in there, you've got an extra outer atmosphere. So ask someone to turn on the tap now. Turn on the tap please, and the pressure will drop. Turn it off, turn it off, add a bit more. Let me get this just right first, it's not quite right. It shouldn't be dropping like that. If you've got it on secure, it should just remain. Oh, okay, that's better. Now, so we want it at 0 0.8, so one bar is okay. Remember, I've got an out of atmosphere pressurized air, but not much. There's only like um, maybe 35 kilopascals out of uh, 800 that we need, but it's better than nothing, right? So, at this point, it is kind of the pressure is not dropping. So, this is a correct procedure that I found. At this point, ask someone to turn on the tap, please. Pressure might drop. Stop. Add it in. Turn on the tap, please. Do it a few times until it stabilizes. Turn it off. It stayed there now right okay now at this point no matter what happens when I unscrew this air is going to leak out but I'm hoping that, that the uh, pre-pressure in there I have unscrewed that I'm sure I have Maybe I've not gripped on it. Really hard. Okay, has come out. I think that did not go hiss. I don't think it went hiss. So I do believe perhaps it would, it's done a little bit better. So this is the reason why I'm doing this is when these pumps lose pressure in this. In these pressurized containers here whether you don't go playing with that if it's working well just leave that on there if it loses pressure the pump will switch on and off by itself without any uh, provocation without turning on any taps so fingers crossed if this works look I've only got masking tape there and it's the air is holding and this is just a two condoms in there and this is the 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 nipple end. Cut a tiny little bit off the nipple end. Insert this normal uh, car tire pump in there. Taped it up a little bit. You, I, mean, I should really use electrical tape. But I haven't got any moment. I just tried this tape. And it seems to be okay. It's not not leaking out. Look, look how long it's lasted. Pressurized. I mean, you could balloon that right up. 
uh, you can manipulate that screw through the through there as you see me do it all right so if it works I'll post it if you see it being posted you know it's been working pumps not being switching on and off by itself all right thanks for watching